Recently, I've sat down and I've tried to think of if there's only one skill a person could have in business and nothing else, what would that skill be that would still cause them to succeed? And at the same time, I've looked at some of my friends who really want to make it in business and they talk about it all the time and they don't quite seem to get there. I think to myself, what skill are they lacking? And in both of these exercises, there's one thing that came up. And this one thing is the key to your success. It's the number one thing you could focus on and get better at if you want to dramatically grow your income, create more opportunity for yourself and get more paying customers and clients, no matter what industry you're in. Every single business needs this skill and they need it at a level of mastery. The skill we're talking about is copywriting. C-O-P-Y-W-R-I-T-I-N-G. I'm not talking about filing a copyright with the regulatory agencies. I'm talking about the art of putting words onto paper that persuade, influence, and sell your products. Let's talk about how to become a copywriter with no experience. The number one thing I think any business owner who's making under a million dollars a year can do to improve their business is to master copywriting. I'm not talking about learning a little bit of copywriting and thinking that's good enough. I'm not talking about hiring a beginner level copywriter and thinking, oh, I got that handled. This is not something like bookkeeping where one plus two equals three and we can just sub out any person to do the job. And the reason is that copywriting is both an art and a science. We can break down the structure of how to use words to influence, to bring in more people into our business, to generate leads and sales. But knowing the structure is not enough. You have to obsess over your market. You have to know your customer. You have to know how to use words and you have to know how the subconscious brain will respond to what you're saying. Now, I love to break things down into the simplest form because you might hear this and you say, Christian, this sounds like incredibly complicated and I don't know anything about copywriting. So how could I possibly go out there and learn this nuanced thing? Well, back in the 1800s and the 1700s, and I'm sure before then, some of our most beloved authors had a practice in their life that actually enabled them to learn how to write. And what they would do is they would pick up their favorite books and then they would take out a sheet of paper and a pen and they would just hand copy that book word for word. Now, why would you do this? They're not plagiarizing this work and republishing it as their own. What are they doing? They're training the brain to write like their favorite authors. They're looking at this person and saying, this person is a master of writing. How could I train my brain to do the same, even if I don't quite understand everything that they're doing just by reading their work? because we can never fully get inside the mind of that author and we can never understand why they did exactly what they did because I can tell you they didn't understand it either. The, ma the master may understand some of what they're doing, but a lot of it is gonna be unconscious. And so the fastest way to get good at copywriting, to get good at using words to influence people and to generate more leads and sales for our customers and our clients is to sit down, pull up some of the best sales letters of all time, and then pull out a blank sheet of paper and a nice fountain pen. Now, don't ask me, Christian, can I just type this out on my computer? Because no, you cannot. This is going to activate a different part of your brain. You pull out a piece of paper and then word for word, you hand copy that sales letter. You hand copy that landing page. You hand copy that ad that is crushing it right now. Now, I learned this trick back when I first got started in business because I was a freelancer and at the time I didn't know how to niche down. I didn't know how to create a proper value proposition and do one thing for one type of person. And I would just take on anything that I could get. So I might be working in the financial industry one day. I might be working in the health industry the next, and I might be working in the marketing industry the day after real estate the next day. And so I was just constantly switching industries, working for all these different clients. And the only way that I could wrap my head around the language that needed to be used because I was doing marketing for them was to go look at what was already working in the market. Because sure, I could go and I could do deep research on all these markets and I could try to intimately get to know the customers, but there that's just an impossibility when there's so many markets that I'm working with. So what did I do? I would just pull out some successful sales letters, some successful ads in those industries, and I would just hand copy them. So if I'm working in the financial industry today, I just pull up some financial industry newsletters and I just hand copy them. And guess what? 
It's just training my brain to know what words they use. What do they call their customers? Do they call them clients? Do they call them customers? They call them patients? They call them something else? Depending on the industry, it's going to be different words. What kind of problems do they have? And also, how do they describe those problems? If you miss the language of the market, even if you're talking about what they're experiencing, if you're using different words than they do, you're immediately going to be pegged an outsider and they're going to ignore you. They're not going to trust you at all. So you have to use, use the exact words that your market does. And so you just pull it out and hand copy it. And guess what? You don't necessarily need to analyze what you've done. You don't necessarily need to understand the psychological techniques that are being used. You start to learn what has worked in the past, because I can tell you a lot of the phrases we use in copywriting, they worked in the 1950s. They worked in the 1960s and the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, the 2010s. They still work today because human psychology really doesn't change all that much. So we might tweak things a little bit, but we're going to use a lot of the same phrases. For example, I could tell you what you're feeling right now. I could say you want to be a copywriter, so you need to learn this. I know how you're going to react to that. If you don't want to be a copywriter right now, or you're not sure, you're going to say, who the F is this guy telling me what I think? But I could say, if you're anything like most of my clients, you might be wondering, how do I get better at copywriting? And so that phrase, if you're anything like most of my clients, guess where you pick that up? You pick it up just by hand copying and realizing that people have used that phrase in the past because that prevents triggering the defense mechanism in the brain, in the subconscious that says, why is this guy talking to me like this? He doesn't know me. Why is he acting like he knows me? So I'll never pretend to know you because I don't. You're sitting on the other side of a computer screen. So all I can offer up is if you're similar to these kinds of people, you might feel this way. I know not to trigger that defense in you because you'll shut down. So these are the kinds of of small tricks and tactics and phrases that you learn when you install new software into your brain by just hand copying that thing. And this is going to be different than you typing it out. It's going to be different than you studying it. It's the one thing that you can just do every single day to, without much thought or without much work, actually get really, really good at copywriting. And I'm not joking. I think if you did nothing else, but you just spend an hour every single day hand copying copy like I did for 18 months in the beginning of my career, then almost everything else is going to take care of itself. You're going to know how to communicate. If there is one reason that most people don't succeed, it is because not that they're not a hard worker, not that they don't have value to offer. I know tons of people who have plenty of value to offer, yet they cannot offer their products and services to the market because they don't know how to communicate. Your level of income depends on your ability to clearly articulate the value that you can offer to the marketplace. Until you can do that, you're not going to get paid. So whether you're watching this today and you want to go out there and you want to start a copywriting business and get clients, or you want to get more clients, leads, and sales for your business, or you have a digital agency, or you just want to get better at communicating, the number one thing you can do is you can pull out a sheet of paper today, find a sales letter in your industry, in your niche, and just start hand copying it. Don't just do it once, do it every single day, and you're gonna nail the language of the market. You're gonna nail the structure of sales messages because it will just be installed into your brain by seeing it so many times. You're gonna nail those phrases you need to be aware of to avoid triggering defense in your audience, and you're gonna start to learn what works time and time again, over time, over history, across industries, you're going to be light years ahead of the competition. So if you've never tried this before, go give it a shot. Just Google best sales letters of all time or successful sales letters in this industry or go to the Facebook ads database, find ads in your industry that are killing it. Go out there, hand copy it, do it every single day. Your brain is a pattern making machine. It will start to pick up on patterns whether you do or not. In the back of your mind, it's already happening and then you will start to write with those patterns. Again, most hands-off, easiest, laziest way I know to get good at a skill. It's just reps, right? It's always about reps. Go out there, give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. And if you want more tips like this to increase your business, grow your sales, get more leads, paying customers and clients, don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications, and do me a favor and smash that like button. If you like this video, that's going to help the algorithm so that we can keep making more videos. That's all for today. It's Christian, the work from anywhere digital marketing guy. I will see you next time. 
That's how much my phone is showing right now because that's how much I made in my business in the last 30 days using three very specific skills. My name is Christian Martin. I'm here in Bali, Indonesia, and I was just reading an article about how demand for digital marketing skills outstrips supply. Now, if you've taken Economics 101, you know that when demand exceeds supply, price goes up. That's right, just like when Tickle Me Elmo ran out of stock in 1996 and people went crazy for it, or when Bitcoin went nuts and even my plumber was buying crypto, the price rose and rose. Right now, local businesses like dentists, chiropractors, and gyms are going crazy for people with the right skills. Yes, paying clients are going crazy for these skills. Do you want to get paid to help local businesses get new customers through Facebook ads and funnels? I'm talking about starting a work from anywhere Mad Men style ad agency. These are the skills that I learned to get paying clients while traveling around the world, doing things like skydiving in the Cascades, riding four wheelers in Morocco, backflipping into a Mexican cenote, or scuba diving at the Great Barrier Reef. Skill number one is copywriting. This is just a fancy word for writing, also called ad copy. Now, if you've ever scrolled through Facebook, these are the words you see at the top of a sponsored post. Writing copy is fun because it's all about people and psychology. If you're the curious type, you should have no problem with skill number one. Be curious about people and figure out what they want. It's kind of like being an FBI agent and interrogating a suspect. Your job is to get to the bottom of things. Now I'll give you a copywriting hack. Just go to Yelp and copy paste a review for your client's business into your ad. This works almost every time. So for more hacks like this, you want to check out the webinar by clicking through. Skill number two is sales. This is the ability to have a phone call with someone and accurately assess if you can help and then offer your services. This is how you get paid. Now, contrary to what people think, this is not forcing someone to buy from you. Think about your local doctor. When you go into the doctor, does he have to sell you on a prescription? No, he diagnoses your problem and provides a solution. That's what sales is all about. It's about helping your client find a solution to their problem. Skill number three is funnels. Here's where it gets real. Once you have a paying client, now you have to fulfill on your promise and create a funnel for them. Now don't overcomplicate things. See, I built my first agency to $9,000 a month or close to $108,000 a year using one ad and one funnel. That's one image, three lines of text, and a simple three-page website. So if you're an agency or online business owner that's not where you want to be, it's most likely because you are lacking in one of these areas. Now if you haven't even started in business yet, it's most likely because you don't have these skills. So I put together a free training to show you how to master all three. Because when you have all three of these skills, it's like selling Tickle Me Elmo to middle American families the night before Christmas in 1996. That's how simple it is. Now, did I mention you can do this kind of work from anywhere in the world? Come learn to master the skills you need and start to get real results in your business. Click through to the next page, enter your best email address, and I'll give you my best email scripts just for showing up. These are the same scripts that have gotten new clients like this, this, and this. In fact, 50,000 people have already been through this free training. Just don't wait too long to show up. Just like Bitcoin or Tickle Me Elmo, the key is to ride the wave to the top and take the skills with you when the ride is over. These are the most valuable and timeless skills you could ever learn if you want to create wealth online and work from anywhere. See you inside. Take the magic back at digitalnomad.com.